Situated around halfway between Cork City and Clarny, the historic town of McCrew is famous for its castle, the iconic Mountain Dew Festival, and being one of the two biggest supply points in the Danone network. Mm, During the Middle Ages, the town was invaded by a succession of warring clans. But in more recent years, McCroom has been under siege from much noisier invaders. For a town that, according to the 2016 census, has a population of less than 5,000 people, the amount of heavy duty traffic that passes through McCroom is way out of kilter with the demographics of the area. As we enter the busy summer season, the tourist friendly town should be choked by curious visitors. Instead, for the last 40 years, it's been choked by traffic. We have all the big shops, we have an 18 hole golf course inside the centre of the town, we have top of the range schools and we have a massive hinterland also that is here that can't come into the town because they're constantly being choked and they're constantly getting caught up in traffic, something that would a journey would take five minutes, sometimes could take an hour. That's McCroom auctioneer Killian Lynch who says that despite all the amenities available in the town, Locals and tourists are often turned off coming into McCroom by the volume of traffic they experience on a daily basis. Thankfully though, plans are afoot to reclaim McCroom from its 18-wheeled 5-ton interlopers. An in 22 bypass has been in the offing for over 40 years. But the end is in sight, with work set to conclude at the end of 2023. The 22-kilometer dual carriageway will bypass the town of McCroom and the villages of Balavigira and Balavorna. So my name is Mary Flynn and I'm the project engineer for the N22 Balavorna to McCroom bypass. So we're delighted, I suppose, to, to Cork County Council are delighted to get to this stage of the project, you know. Large public works like this take a long time to get to construction. So we've been 20 years planning this, this road development and, and great to see it coming almost at a point where it will, will deliver it for the local economy, you know. Um, it'll, it'll re re uh, result in some journey time savings, you know, improved connectivity between Cork and Kerry, which is of such importance, and also um, remove congestion from the towns um, that are being bypassed. So McCroom, Ballyvourney Bali, and uh, Ballyvacira, you know, they could be given back to the people and, and given a chance to rejuvenate. Auctioneer Killian Lynch shares Mary Flynn's optimism for the project and is also hopeful for the future of the region once it reaches completion. It's with McCroom Town will thrive. McCroom Town has been, they've been on about this bypass with twin, since with the last 40 years. And uh, obviously it has never happened, thank God. Um, that it was funding approved in 2019 to make it start. So it's, McCroom will take half a step backwards and five steps forward. But like any project of this size, it comes at a cost and with significant challenges to overcome. It's been led by Cork County Council and contractors John Civil Engineering and John Craddock JV. And there are currently over 300 people working on the project. Here's project engineer Mary Flynn again. So the, the total scheme budget is, is 280 million, you know, so that's um, including this phase of the, the contract and um, also advanced works phase, which we went through over the last few years and, and land acquisition as well. Great. And you were still on, on target to finish by the end of 2023? Yeah, we're, we're on program to be finished um, before the end of 2023. You know, so I, it's great to have kept going. We've had our challenges, obviously, and um, the impact of COVID um, and some shutdowns um, during that phase um, has been a challenge, but we, it's great to, to be on target to be finished before the end of 23. With such high hopes for the region, once the project is completed, the question of why it, it has taken so long to get to this stage is a valid one. One reason is the region's topography. The road will be constructed through challenging terrain which varies through the development from hilly remote land with rock outcrops at the western end to low-lying pasture lands to the east of Macroom and will cross a landlocked section of the Inniscarra Reservoir to the southeast of Macroom. Here are two of the project's key stakeholders, Project Liaison Officer Jonathan Noonan and First Senior Resident Engineer for Roadworks, Carl Tui. 
It's, it's certainly the, the most challenging road project I've ever been on. Um, I've been on this project four years now and it's uh, the most challenging terrain I've ever encountered on, a, on, a, on any scheme to date. Um, there's a considerable height difference, it's 100, over 150 metres difference between the far end of the project in Balavorni and to tie into the reservoir here. And we're probably 30% through the actual uh, the shifting of the material, they call it the, the cut and fill, I suppose. And uh, we're here in the, one of the biggest fills on the project. There's over 400,000 cubic metres of material to come here from, from north of the town of McCroom. It gets cut and then the, um, you'll probably see it over the next couple of weeks. The machines will actually start depositing the, the material in the floodplain between the, the balancing culverts and off to the reservoir. So um, yes, no, it's one of, one of the most challenging rock is particularly uh, a significant issue. People might be familiar with the existing uh, N22 road between McCroom and Balavorni and you can be very familiar with, with the, the, the rock on it today. So it's, um, you could, I always joke that you could tell why this bypass hasn't been completed until now because it's such a, a challenging scheme. Um, Jonathan Noonan, I'm the project liaison officer for Cork County Council on the scheme. Um, we're currently standing here and cut one in the western section of the scheme. Uh, it's a 30 metre deep cut that we have to extract rock from. Uh, around a million cubes of rock, that's a million cubic metres of rock, uh, which, we will, which we will move down through the whole site to fill uh, various areas of the site. Um, the bowhill structure is just below me and we'll be able to traffic over that with construction plant mid-June and that will give us the opportunity then to make significant progress in the middle sections of the site right the way down to the Carrigafuca junction. But it's not only the challenge of moving large swathes of rock and earth that have made the project so difficult. There have also been environmental concerns to consider, as well as the challenges presented by the UK leaving the EU. Here's Project Liaison Officer Jonathan Noonan again. Yeah, look, I, the Kerry Slug Habitat is very important. Um, we've carried out a significant um, Kerry Slug Habitat and a relocation exercise. Uh, all our areas are protected and they're, they're signed. Uh, we have a, a full plan in place to protect the slugs and it's a key environmental constraint here um, but it, it's one that's well worth it to preserve uh, a protected species. And I suppose one of the other key challenges we have is Brexit and that's the, I suppose, getting materials to site. Um, some materials uh, through Brexit, I suppose, are delayed coming to site. So we have plans in place as well where we're, we're doing advanced purchasing of materials to make sure that we have materials stockpiled on site. Um, to, I suppose, overcome that issue, you know. The sheer scale and impressive nature of the A22 project has even drawn the attention of National Geographic. The delivery of record-breaking 50-metre precast concrete beams to McCroom is expected to feature in their show, You Work From The Sky, later in the year. With 18 road bridges, 24 accommodation structures and a number of culvert structures, it is indeed engineering at its most spectacular. The project includes the construction of 130 structures, including crossings of the Salan, Laney and Bohill rivers, while the junctions on the project will be at Slevery at the western end, at Toon Lane East at Ballyvikira, at Gortin Row, Hill Street Road and at Coolcore at the eastern side of McCroom. One of the most interesting elements is that a new 121 metre bridge that will cross over the Bohill River was built in Spain before being transferred to McCroom. I'm Keen Kiley, I'm the Senior Resident Engineer for Structures on the N22 Balavoni to McCroom Road Scheme. And Keen, we're here at Bowhill, is it? Yeah, this is the Bowhill River Bridge and Kapak Underbridge. It's the longest bridge and longest structure on the project. It's 120 metres long. It's a uh, very complex, there's a lot of environmental constraints around here. The, the stream, the Bohill River, which passes underneath the structure, has freshwater pearl mussel, so it cannot be disturbed. And also there's a carry slug habitat to the north of the bridge, which was a major constraint. And you can also see here behind me, the pylon, there's a 110 kV ESB line, which is a high voltage ESB line running um, parallel to the structure. And it, that's, that's, that caused, that put a lot of constraints in building this. It, it, this, it, this bridge was built was manufactured in Spain, in Seville in Spain by Takada. They're one of the world leaders in this, in this type of structure. It's, um, it's a weathering steel bridge. You can see by the color of it, that is the finished color of it. People, everyone asks me, is it getting paint? Is it not? But that's the finished color of it, it's weathering steel. It's designed, it kind of fits in with the surrounding countryside. In a green area, maybe it's not something to use, but this is a more upland area. And it, often you look around the countryside and you see a more brown new to the area. So it fits in with the surrounding countryside. And, over the next, over the design life of the bridge, the next hundred years. So it's going to 
weather slightly and will rust and that's that's the color the bridge will will maintain through its through its through its life so with the engineers planning with the next hundred years in mind what can the N22 McCroom to Valleyvorney bypass actually deliver for the region in the medium term? Auctioneer Killian Lynch hopes the project will usher in a new era for the town of McCroom and its surrounding hinterland. They predict over the next eight years that there'll be four to five hundred houses, new houses needed in McCroom town. That's a lot of houses from McCroom. Um, the commuter, it's going to be a commuter town. It's, it has, as I said, all of the services and the amenities. It has a top class hotel in the centre of the town again and everything is in the centre of the town it's within walking distance it's the castle domain but everything should go well in McCroom town over the foreseeable future. There's also a new guard station. The, yeah. There's a new guard station here we have a new fire brigade just being it's constructed with works only started two weeks ago um, so between all of that there'll be I suppose the schools down the line, there'll be new schools having to have to be constructed. There's uh, discussions going on about that at the present moment. So, as I say, the growth in McCroom, it will grow astronomically over the next 10 to 15 years. The same as any town with, uh, with, that is attractive, that is well maintained, it should do it and McCroom will. I suppose some of the key benefits of the project um, are obviously an, an improved safety, also the uh, improved connectivity between Cork and Kerry, but the removal of congestion um, from the towns and villages, um, McCroom, Ballyvourney and Ballyvikira, and giving, giving those uh, urban centres back to the community and giving them a chance to rejuvenate. 